Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. Over the past few weeks there have been some really good Lego sales in the UK. Um, I find it very hard to resist any kind of Lego sale. Um, there's some sets here that I've been really hanging on for that I finally got at some good prices. So I thought I'll show you all what I've been buying. Uh, most of these have come from Argos. Um, they, they tend to be pretty good with their sales. I know John Lewis recently had a sale as well, but I've got most of the, most of the really expensive John Lewis sets now. So it's, uh, I'm, trying to wait, I'm kind of waiting now for the more recent sets that have been released to start getting re re reduced. Um, so, but Argos have finally started doing so. Um, but I've got a few of the older sets as well that I've been trying to get. Um, so first up from Argos, uh, I have got the Tra Star Wars uh, Trash Compactor Diorama. Uh, this is retiring this year. Uh, I do have the Death Star Trench and, and I do need to get the Dagobah one. Uh, but this was reduced, I think, down to £55. Um, so that's a really, really good price. It's probably not the best of the, of the, of, of the dioramas, but as it's retiring and at that price, I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, now, whether I, I ever get round to building these, I don't know. Uh, I possibly will, but if not, this could do, I think this one might do quite well um, when it retires at the end of the year. So whether I build it or hang on to it and sell it at some point in the future, I don't quite know yet. But at that price, I thought I'd grab it. I'd rather not miss out. Now, one of the more recently released sets that I brought, uh, a recent release set that was on sale, was the team was a Jurassic Park uh, Visitor Center. Uh, I'll be looking forward to this, um, but a full price at 130 pounds. I thought that was a little bit too much for what it is, uh, but I did manage to get this. And I think for 90, I think I paid for this, which is a really really good saving. So like 40 pounds off it uh, at that price, it's really really good. I don't think it's gonna, it can go much lower than that. Uh, out of all the Jurassic Park releases, I think this is the, wow, this is a really cool set, but I do like the T-Rex, comes with really good minifigures, um, yeah, really, really pleased with the price that I paid for this. Uh, I did want to buy it on day one, but at full retail, it just was, I couldn't justify it really, it's not really worthwhile at full retail, but during the sale, I think that's a really, really good buy. Uh, another set from Argos that I wasn't really planning on getting uh, is the Great Wave art set. Now I'm not normally into these art sets. I don't really, not something I tend to collect. But this was like almost like 50% off. Uh, 45 pound I paid for this, which was just insane. I couldn't resist it at that price. I think retail price for this is like 90 odd pounds. Um, I have seen it reduced occasionally uh, down to like 60, 65. But Argos reduced it to 45 and I thought at that price I just couldn't say no. Uh, it's quite cool. Um, I might well buy it. I might well end up building this and possibly displaying it on the wall. Or my, or my wife might want to build this one. I think she'd probably enjoy it more than me. Uh, I'm not sure how much patience I've got to be to um, place all these one single studs. I don't know. It's sort of thing I might enjoy. I don't know. Maybe we'll build it together. We'll have to wait and see. But I think she'd probably appreciate it more than me. Uh, I'm not sure where I'd hang it, probably downstairs maybe, because I think it's got a hook on the back. Um, I think it's, it's quite nice, quite colourful. Um, let's say £45, it's quite insanely good deal. So it's just about 50, almost 50% 50 off, so I wasn't going to turn that one down. That was really, really good. Um, from Very um, Shopping Catalogue Company, I did buy a set that was reduced. Now, I, I do hate it when shops send them in these sort of poly bags or these plastic bags. I have no idea what the box condition is going to be like. It really is hit or miss. Uh, I really wish they'd send things in boxes, but um, the box feels all right. And hopefully, it should be. Oh, oh, oh that's all right. Oh, fair okay, play. Okay, I uh, can't criticise. There's a box within the plastic thing. So, uh, okay, that's, I'm quite relieved of that. I didn't think this. I thought it was just a Lego box inside. So that's a really nice surprise. Reassuring. So it should ensure that the box con box condition is good. That's uh, quite cool. So in here, and get into it. Is the pirate three in one Viking pirate uh, Viking ship. Now, as you can see behind me, I already do have one of these, but I wanted another one uh, with the Viking village. Um, I thought I'd want to pair both uh, the Viking ship and the Viking sort of house. I think that'll go, to, I wanted two builds really to go really, to go, to go really well together, I would have thought. But this was down to like 55 pounds, which was just insane. 
Uh, one of you kindly helped point that out to me in one of the comments a few weeks back. And I thought, oh, that price, even if I never built it, um, this will do, I think this is gonna do quite well when it retires. Uh, 55 pounds, it's an outstanding bargain, really, really good. Uh, as I say, I think, I think I'm, I'm probably going to end up building two of them, building both of them, but I don't know, it's finding time really, and it's like, I have all these plans of how I want to build things and make these Lego displays, but it's having the space and time to get it all, all built, but even if I never build, even if I don't get around to building both of them, I'll probably end up building one of them. As an investment set, I think this one will do quite well. I do like the Viking ship, it is really cool. I say at £55, yeah, outstanding deal really, really, really good. I did place an order the other day uh, from Argos. Uh, this week I did a video on uh, a new Argos sale for some of the more recently released sets that have been reduced. Uh, again, this is a, in a plastic bag. I don't think these, these, these aren't going to be in boxes, unfortunately, so this is going to be kind of hit and miss. Normally I go to my Argos and, and do click and collect, uh, but my local store didn't actually have any of these in, in stock. Uh, and the nearest store nearby was like sort of like 30, 40 miles away. So I thought, well, I paid a three pound, four pound delivery. It was save on parking and diesel and, and whatnot. So hopefully the uh, box is in decent condition. It's always hit, it's always, with our gloss, it is hit and miss. Let's have a look what I brought. So first up, I did get Dobby, the house elf. Uh, this is at 16 pounds. I wasn't going to turn this one down. It's really quite sweet, the box. It was quite decent in fairness, no damage. It's, yeah, that's okay, I'm happy with that. But yeah, 16 pound, that's really, really cool. I've not seen this any cheaper. I don't really think it can go any less than that. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know how much, uh, yeah, I think 16 pounds probably gonna be the lowest this one will be able to go to. So I'm quite pleased with that. And uh, get, oh no, this doesn't look good. Oh, this is not, well, I did buy the, um, Battle of Hogwarts modular. Uh, this is the last part that I need for my uh, ho huge Hogwarts castle. I've got every other bit now. They're all built. Uh, this is the last piece. Um, so I'm a bit the only problem with this. The box is damaged, so that's unfortunate. That's really annoying. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to build it anyway. It's, but it's just a bit, it's annoying when you see the box is crushed like this. It's um, a bit of a shame, but. That's just one of those things. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to be building it, so it's not, it's not that, not, 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 not that much a big of a deal. Um, I think I'm probably going to use the um, rope grid or the sort of walkway here. I think that's, this, this is the version I'm going to build to incorporate into my Hogwarts. I haven't quite yet decided yet. I'm now on some point I'll get this built, and then I'll have a play around trying to get it all assembled. Uh, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, God knows where I'm going to put this huge, great big Hogwarts when it's all finished. Uh, but that's way to see. And finally from Argos, I did buy the 3-in-1 uh, Space Roller Coaster set. I think it's a Space Roller Coaster set, I think that's what it's called. I think this is really, really cool. It's down to £63. It's the cheapest I've seen it for, I think, since it's come out. I think Amazon may have had it a little while back reduced, but at least Amazon, Amazon in, in uh, Germany, I think I saw it reduced. But it's the first time I saw it reduced in the UK at Argos. I think mean, this is really cool. I saw it the other day in, in the Lego store when I went and brought the Venator. I do love this. It's really cool. It's because it has a light brick. I do like the alternate builds as well. They're quite decent. Um, but the main roller coaster one is really, really cool. Uh, it's a shame that it doesn't look as any way to motorize it. I don't think that's going to be possible. But I like it. That's uh, £63. I think it's a bargain. Uh, full retail, it's probably a little bit overpriced. I think it's about is it £90, £100 it's at retail. Um, so that's really good. Yeah, really pleased with that. But in addition to my uh, sales shopping, I did place an order with Lego um, a few weeks back. Uh, this has been on my landing. Uh, drove my wife crazy because I've not actually done anything with it. So I thought I'd open it up and show you what I brought from Lego. This wasn't on sale, uh, but it was during when some promos were available. Uh, so it's been say, sat up on my landing in a box for the past week or two and I mean, it's been really getting on my wife's nerves. I think it's about time I opened it up and uh, moved it about. <laughs> so let's have a look what's in here. I don't like these new Lego boxes. I find them a real pain to get into. Let's open this up. And there's another one around here. So, right, so in here we have 
I'll get into the box, open up these tabs. Uh, a couple of promos, first of which is another of the Disney 100 um, promo sets. These came back last month. I think I've got three of these now, but I think these are going to be quite collectible. I do think these are going to go quite up in value, give it a few months, maybe next year. I think these are going to do really well. I think these are going to be highly collectible simply because of the minifigure. Uh, it's one of the few promo sets that, that does come with a light brick. Um, so yeah, I've got three of these now. So two of them, one of them, and one of them, whether I read, whether I ever get round to building my promos, I mean, I don't know, but if not, it's, I think that'll do, I think from an investment point of view, I think that's gonna do quite well. I also got a Lego House of the World number three. I'm really pleased with this, because I missed out on this in, in August. So it was really quite a uh, nice surprise to see this one come back last month. Um, so I'm really pleased that I've got the other, other two. So there's only one more to go now. I don't know when the fourth one's coming out. I'm guessing it's probably going to be maybe around December now, I thought. Could be next month, who knows. Uh, but yeah, I think it's quite cool. I think it's out, out of the three of them so far, this is probably my favourite. So I'm really glad to get one hold of that one. Now, in order to get the minimum spend to get um, the, the promos, I had to buy Disney sets. Uh, I did buy uh, a couple of uh, one of the brickheads, uh, Pluto and Goofy. Um, that was quite sweet. I was just under the minimum spend, um, so I thought I'd have to grab some things. I thought, well, I might as well get that. That's quite sweet, really. Um, not a huge brickheads collector, but I thought that's not pretty decent. But as a as the set, I did get the 100 camera. Now I did buy this uh, in September when I went up to, uh, is to buy uh, Gringotts. Uh, but when I saw Lego were doing all these promos, I, just, I took it back and got a refund and reordered it because I wanted one, I wanted the House of the World and I wanted another one of the, of the, um, of the Disney promos. So I just took it back and made, get, oh, yeah, I tried to get the, you know, the best bang for buck really. So I, I was able to return it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm pretty, really pleased with my haul. And that's pretty, I can't resist a Lego sale. Uh, and there were Black Friday coming up. I'm not sure. I, I can't can't wait for that. I'd be really interested to see what uh, Lego, well, what sets are going to be reduced this Black Friday. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that the Yarvin Five base might be reduced. I'm hoping to see that down to hopefully, fingers crossed, under 100 pound at that price. I think I'll bite. Um, I've seen it already reduced down to 120, but I think that's got a little bit more room to go down. So I hope you come back Friday, that will get a significant saving. I'd also like the Coruscant uh, gunship, Republic gunship. That's only just come out, the same with the Yarvin 5 base, but hopefully that might well be reduced come that Friday. I think they're the two I'm really, really looking forward to seeing reduced, but who knows, just don't know what's gonna happen with Black Friday. And uh, it's always different. I think, you, I think you guys in the US seem to get, seem to get better deals than what we do in the UK, uh, but let's wait and see on that. So that's it, that is all my Lego spends um, that I brought mostly on sale. So that's pretty good. I really cannot resist a Lego sale, it's terrible. Um, I see I see Lego drops in, drop in price. I, I can't I sort of have to buy it, which is, I don't know where I'm gonna put, I'm starting to get overrun now with Lego boxes. I'm gonna have to give my Lego room a real clear think, think about and rearrange. I do now have another Billy bookcase. Uh, so that's downstairs, I'm gonna have to get hold of that quite reasonably second hand. Um, so that will be coming up, we will be putting it here. Um, yeah, so that's going to be, yeah, I'm starting to get a bit cramped for space and I uh, keep buying Lego sets, so it's uh, that doesn't really help. So that's it. So let me know in the comments, have you been buying any of the Lego sets that have been on sale over the past couple of weeks? And uh, can I please ask you to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you would consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.